All right, guys, um, I'm making this video tonight because I feel like um, some of you are kind of struggling on pseudocode um, and it shouldn't be that difficult. So I want to just go through um, a simple program with you guys and demo kind of what what I'm looking at and what I'm needing for me. OK, so um, this is just a simple program. It's uh, converting kilometers to miles per hour. So the program says your friend Amanda just inherited a European sports car from her uncle. Amanda lives in the United States and she is afraid she will get a speeding ticket because the car speedometer indicates kilometers per hour. She has asked you to write a program that displays a table of speeds in kilometers per hour with their values converted to miles per hour. The formula is converting kilometers per hour to miles per hour is, and then there's the conversion. Uh, the table that your program displays should show speeds from 60 kilometers per hour through 130 miles per hour in increments of 10, along with their values converted to miles per hour. The, pro, uh, the table should look something like this. Okay, so um, basically what you're going to need is you're going to need a starting kilometers, which is going to be, you're going to enter in 60, but that'll be your starting kilometers. And then um, you'll need an ending kilometers per hour. And that will set up your while loop, okay? And your while loop will go from the starting kilometers to the end. And during that whole time, it will be converting those miles, those kilometers per hour into miles uh, per hour. So what I did was I wrote some simple pseudocode, okay? So let me. See if I can do this. I like using the, the screen sketch. So you always start off with a start because you're going to start your program, and then you're always going to have declarations. Okay, you always have to declare your variables before you're allowed to use them. All right, and in this case, they're all going to be doubles. I've got my starting, I got my ending, I got my miles per hour, and then I've got a conversion rate. <coughs> Then what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a housekeeping section. The housekeeping section is just going to be um, asking the user to enter in the information, and it's going to display the heading of my table. Okay. Then I'm going to have my while loop, and while my starting kilometers is less than or equal to my ending kilometers, I'm going to have a detailed uh, loop the detailed section of the loop and then I'll end my while loop once it's over and then I'll just have a finish and I think the finish just has a return on it which nothing happens in it so let me move down here <coughs> okay so let's look at this um, all right so in housekeeping all I'm doing is I have I have output that says enter the starting kilometers and then I input the starting kilometers I output to the screen, you know, please enter the ending kilometers, and then I input ending kilometers. And then here's my table, you know, okay. And so within my loop, all I have is my starting kilometers times my conversion rate is going to equal miles per hour, okay. And then I'm going to output it to the screen and display it. And then I'm going to add 10 to starting kilometers. So if it starts off at 60, because remember, it's got to be less than or equal to 130, right? Um, this is my starting kilometers. So starting, let's just say start. Here's my end. Okay, this is my ending kilometers. I have to add 10 to it each time. So if I add 10, I get 80 or 70, and 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, and then at 140. Is 140 less than or equal to 130? It's not true, so we don't do this part, okay? Um, so once that's all done, then we return, and then I just have finish, which there's nothing going to be in finish, so I just put the word return in there. Um, so that's basically your... Um, um, your program right there, okay? And so... Um, right here is basically what I came up with okay now <coughs> I'm doing everything <coughs> in the output menu I'm not writing a GUI right here because uh, this is just a simple program alright but 
<coughs> I needed to import the scanner class. Okay, I create a scanner object from the scanner class. I've got my declarations right here. I ask the user enter the starting kilometers that gets stored in here when they type it in. I ask the user to put in the ending kilometers that's put in the ending kilometers. I've got the title to my table, kilometers per hour and miles per hour. And then while the starting kilometers are less than or equal to the ending kilometers, um, I do my conversion to miles per hour and then I display to the screen and then I add 10 to starting kilometers. Um, in a lot of your guys' pseudocode, you're not doing your while loop. So if I did this, I could only do this thing. If I got rid of my while loop, I could only do it once. So if I press play on this thing, please enter. So if I enter 60 and 30 is my ending, there's my table where it displays my kilometers and my miles per hour. <coughs> and let me show you what I'm saying with you guys not... <coughs> you guys aren't doing your your loops if I get rid of this all it does is it displays you know please enter your starting kilometer 60 please enter your end ending 130 and then it just does it one time a lot of you guys are forgetting to do this in your pseudocode um, your while loops and then you need to end your your loop okay and when you don't put that in it only runs one time now I'm at whatever you guys are trying to accomplish okay so um, I think I'm gonna make a deal with you guys that those of you that didn't uh, get as good of a grade as you wanted on your pseudocode if you actually write the code I'll give you your full points okay so um, that'll be my deal and I'll write you guys an email um, but watch this video and um, hopefully you guys are, you, you'll figure this out and you'll do better on the next pseudocode, okay? Have a good night. Bye.